People think of Roblox as a kids game, and because of that when it comes to development it's mostly laughed at. But most people don't know that Roblox Studio just makes everything so easy. So in this video I'll explain why it might be the best option for you, especially if you are a beginner. About half a year ago I decided I should try game development, because it has been my dream for a long time. I went with Unreal because that seemed like the best option for me since I already knew C++ programming language. Now I did make some games and it was kind of fun, but it got so complicated and frustrating. Everything takes so much time, it's it's insane. So I recently decided to take a breather and try Roblox out because of its simplicity and of course I'm not a professional Roblox developer, I have like one week of experience as of the time I'm recording this, but in that one week I was basically able to learn like 80% of Roblox Studio and go from this to this. Yeah, that's a short amount of time for that much knowledge. Let's first talk about the player base. You need players for your game to actually be worth making, right? And Roblox has a lot of players, meaning you have lots of possibilities to take those players and direct them to your game. Advertising the game isn't that hard either, Roblox has built-in advertising, but let's just say you don't want to spend money on it, so you can just make TikTok or other short-form content for ads. As long as you're smart with what you show, sound effects and how you hype up the game, at least some people will find it interesting and decide to try it out. Let's be real, most of the Roblox players are kids and kids will watch and will play anything. But when they do decide to try it out, you have to make them keep coming back. So let's talk more about the game dev side of Roblox Studio. A lot of people get confused about game development the second they see code. If you have had a similar experience, well no need to worry anymore, Roblox Studio uses Lua which is really easy. Like coming from C++ and those more complicated languages, it, it just felt wrong how easy everything is, how simple everything is. For example, it's, it's so fast to get any game objects from anywhere in your code and do stuff with it. But if I'm being real, it might even be too simple though. I like some features from more complicated languages I'm used to like Java and C++, but there's a workaround so that's still fine. Another factor why Roblox Studio is so simple is because of its limited features and limitations. When developing with Unreal Engine, I found myself trying to perfect every single detail because something would just always look wrong. Well, no need to do that anymore, Roblox basically just always prevents you from doing that, which consequently saves you a lot of time. For example, I'd like to change this grass model because <laughs> it just doesn't look good. Maybe modify its color, disable shadows, well, guess what, I just can't, the grass is either on or off. And you might be thinking, well, if, if I can't make something flawless, then doesn't that mean my game would be bad? No, it wouldn't. The limitations are the same for all the games, meaning the players are used to grass being like this, they're used to it being either on or off, they haven't seen grass that looks better. This really works with anything in Roblox Studio, Roblox games aren't known for their best graphics or their best functionality, meaning you don't have to make your graphics the best either. Players come into your game expecting it to not look as good as Call of Duty for example, because that just simply isn't possible in Roblox. What I'm trying to say, you save lots of time and energy while making games in Roblox because other games which are your competition don't really have the best graphics, most of them don't have some next level unique amazing functionality, meaning your games don't have to have that either, of course if you don't feel like implementing that. Roblox Studio also just takes care of everything itself. For example, there is a terrain generator in it, in which you just have to select biomes you want to include, press a button and it generates a whole map with those biomes for you automatically. A map like this from zero experience would have taken me like at least a month to learn and then do in, in Unreal. And I just did it in one hour in Roblox without watching a single tutorial because it's just that intuitive. Another example would be when I went to import something. You'd have to import the model into Unreal after watching like 5 tutorials on how to import models correctly, import the textures, create a material, play Lego but worse, and then you might get it working. Or in Roblox, all I have to do is click two buttons, then drag the model into the map, and everything just works magically. It's, it's actually pretty amazing to see it work that easily after suffering in Unreal for so long. Another problem I faced when developing games is my PC. If you have a great PC with a good GPU and lots of storage, this might not be that much of an issue for you. However, you'd be surprised how many people have bad computers. Unreal projects also just eat your PC storage alive. The engine takes like 50 gigabytes and then every project takes like 10 to 100 gigabytes on top of that. You will run out of space pretty quickly. Everything I just mentioned is solved in Roblox though. I can enjoy my high refresh rate monitor displaying lots of FPS there. I don't have to worry about this storage because you can store Roblox games on the cloud. Yes, you don't even have to save the projects to your PC. Although there is an option to do that if you wanna be safer. 
Now let's talk about monetization. Sure, making a game only for money is probably not the fastest and best way to earn money, but hey, extra cash doesn't go to waste, right? In my opinion, it's really easy to monetize your games with Roblox if you're just being smart about it and for example taking the most frustrating aspects of your games and making them less frustrating and easier for players as an additional paid feature. Yes, lots of that money will go towards Roblox, you only get like 30% I think, but with lots of players the purchases might just add up into something significant. So yeah, as you can see there's lots of positives about using Roblox over actual game engines. There's lots of things I didn't mention but just trust me when I say this, it was... I was fascinated how intuitive and easy it is. It might not be for you if you want to take game development seriously and want to have lots of control over everything that's going on in the screen, but if you're like me, you have school or college or university or a job even and you don't have enough time, maybe you have other hobbies and just don't want to, you know, sit in front of your PC 24-7 to maybe get a game out in 5 years, I think that Roblox is a good choice. Especially when there's lots of potential players, which you just need to steal from other games. At least it doesn't hurt to try, right? Anyway, let me know what you think about Roblox Studio in the comments. Like the video for algorithm and shit if you don't mind helping me out. Subscribe if you'd like YouTube to recommend you more of my content. And hey, feel free to join our Discord community because I'd love to chat with you. So yeah, thanks for watching.